Welcome to my new setup. This is my new little reading nook. Today I will be bringing you a book haul and book unboxing. I have collectively been hoarding these books for a while because I knew I wanted to film an unboxing and stuff and these are the books that I can remember buying in the last couple of months. Without further ado, let's get to showing you the books, shall we? Starting with our Ready, Set, Read book of the month for September. I got This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I've already finished this, but I am rereading it because it's good. And I'm going through and tabbing and it looks a grand old mess. But jeez! If you don't know what the Ready, Set, Read book club is, it is a book club hosted by myself and two of my booktube besties, Christy from What's Christy Reading and Brandy from I Ramble Randomly. We have a Goodreads group, Twitter, all that jazz. I will leave all the links in the thingy. I also picked up My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Jodie Meadows and Brody Ashton. This is our Ready, Set, Read pick for October depending on when I get this up. A little sneak peek. After one of my acupuncture appointments I had to go shopping with my mum and she needed some stationery and it's like right across from the book aisle and I was there just going uh, books as us book nerds tend to do. So I got uh, buy me some books because I left my purse in the car. So winning. <laughs> So I picked up Nerve by Jean Ryan. I still haven't seen the movie yet, and to be honest, I don't know which was released first, book or movie, but the movie looks really cool and I want to see it and read the book, so... Hence the purchase. And if you guys have been watching for a while or know me even slightly, you will know that I am a massive Disney fan. So I saw this on the shelf and I couldn't not get it. And that is The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. Yeah, I couldn't not pick it up because it's, it's Beast. Moving on. I also pre-ordered Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I specifically pre-ordered it through Waterstones because they had the Black Pages edition and I really wanted it and it's ridiculously pretty. I mean, look at this. And it's it's so pretty in fact. I've got to show you it naked. So there are the end pages of this beautiful thing. The design on the title page, also very beautiful. And always we love a good map. Let's be real Z's. But the other beautiful thing about this book is this. It is absolutely gorgeous and it wraps the whole way around. It is just so pretty. And obviously without the dust jacket on and those black edges, it just looks so gorgeous. Apologies if my white balance keeps going in and out. I'm having issues with it. At uh, uh, yeah, I also picked up Shadow of Night, the second book in the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. I do have all three on audio, and I have been buddy reading these with Crystal over at Digital and Vellum. I'll leave her link in the thing. I was reading the well, listening to the first one on audio and realised that I had to get them in physical copy. I also picked up the cloth bound classic of The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandra Damas. I've never read this book and I've always wanted to read it. I decided to take the plunge and get the really, really pretty edition. I didn't know it was this big. And it is those really fine Bible pages. But I am excited to read it and I will get to it soon ish maybe i also picked up depraved heart by patricia cornwell this is her latest 
book, I believe. I've still got a couple to read before I actually get round to reading this one. Damn, this book's shiny though. Ooh. This is a great series. If you love crime, mystery, thrillers, I suggest you go pick up the K. Scarpetta series by Patricia Cromwell. I also bought quite a few books on my Kindle. See? Disney! I'm not crazy, I promise. I got Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkalis, if that's how you say it. It's a contemporary read. I know a few other people who have read it and have enjoyed it. Some others, not so much. And it was on sale for 99 pence, so why not? <laughs> also got Persuasion by Jane Austen. Because of glare um, when I was holding up Persuasion and Perfect Chemistry, I have decided to just put in pictures and go through my Kindle and tell you what I got. I also got Curse of the Sphinx by Ray Wagner. I got Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. The Queen's Poisoner by Jeff Wheeler. Northanger Abbey and Emma by Jane Austen. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Also, Benjamin of Tomes's publishing company of Tomes were having a sale. So I headed on over there and bought some books from their sale on my Kindle. I got the Justice Buried trilogy by Hilary Thompson. Justice Buried, Balance Broken, and Destiny Risen. I also got Mist and Whispers by C. M. Lucas. New World Ashes by Jennifer Wilson. I think that's all of his books that he publishes, but I did get some other ones on his recommendation. I could be wrong, don't hate me. It got Bound by Duty by Stormy Smith and The Purgatorium by Eva Polo. I also picked up Air Awakens by Elise Cova. I picked this one up because Michaela from I've totally forgotten her YouTube name. I think it's just, I think it's Michaela Reads. I'm so sorry that I've forgotten. I'll put it here and link it down below. Ugh, brain fart. I was watching one of her wrap ups and she said that she just loved it and the entire series to be fair. So I pretty much had to go searching for it. And I got it on Kindle. I also picked up Solitaire by Alice Oseman. Me and Christy are buddy reading this. I also got The Thieves' Daughter by Jeff Wheeler, the second one to The Queen's Poisoner. I also picked up The Unlikely Hero of Room 13B by Teresa Toten. I think that's how you pronounce it. I also picked up The Moth and the Flame by René Adier, a short story to coincide with the Wrath of the Dawn duology. And finally, I picked up Queen Rising and Before the Snow. Two novellas by Daniel Page to go along with her Stealing Snow series, which unfortunately I haven't picked up yet. But I will! And the bit we've all been waiting for. The unboxing! I'll do the little packages first. <laughs> I got these four books using the website A Books, which goes through lists of use bookstores and they pretty much give you the best deal on books sometimes you get free shipping sometimes it's a couple of pounds not that much and the books themselves depending on which ones you're wanting to get are also pretty cheap as well if you're wanting to go check out a books i will leave linkies in the thing as always let's get on with this one No, I'm okay. Okay. So I got Starcrest by Josephine Angelini. The state of the book, there is a little bit of water damage and the spine's obviously broken, but that really doesn't bother me that much with books 
unless I'm wanting to keep them pristine. If I'm buying a used copy, I expect there to be some scratches and stuff. I had never heard of this until Selena at OXX Snap 13 was talking about it in the Summer Biannual Bibliothon. It's one that I kept in the back of my mind and then when I was searching a book, so I was like, oh, that book! So I searched for it and they had it, so I will hopefully be reading this sometime soon. Next! It's Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. So that means this one should be... Ugh. Ow! <laughs> Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott. And I have to say, these two books, they look brand new. The spine's been cracked on this one, this one, not so much. I think I got both of these for like a pound, or one pound 19 each. So I'm very happy with that purchase. And I will be reading these soon. <laughs> I'm saying that about every book because obviously I buy them because I want to read them. The last one of the books from a books. Ugh. Come on! You're mocking me, aren't you? Oh, okay. We have Ink Death by Cornelia Funk. So I have Ink Hat and I have Ink Spell. Just there. I've not read any of the trilogy, but now I have the third book, I can. I have seen the movie with Brendan Fraser and I really, really enjoyed it. And obviously the book gives you more, so I'm excited to jump into this trilogy. Okay, it's time for the Amazon packages. This one especially has been killing me. So let's tab a tab. Oh. Sorry, this is the first time I'm actually holding this book. Oh. It's so pretty. I know everyone has got a copy of this already and they have read it. I have also read it. I bought it on Audible and I forgot to pre-order this but I managed to get it the next day which is good. So now it can go with the rest of my Sarah J Maas collection. And finally, back up to the box. The big box. The box that I've had for weeks. <sighs> and I've just cut all my nails so I can't actually get in to said box. John, hang on, brute strength, sheer determination. Yeah, I want these books bad. I like successfully destroyed that box. Paper. Like I said, with Shadow of Night, I had to pick up the entire All Souls trilogy. This is book one, A Discovery of Witches. And the final book, Book of Life. So now I have all three and I am really, really happy that I have the whole set because I love these books so much. Like I said, me and Crystal have been buddy reading this series and now we are both on the final book. I'm only at chapter nine, I believe, because I'm listening to this on audio, but now I have it in physical copy. I can read it properly. Yes, I'm only a little bit of the way through. It's chapter nine. And a lot of stuff has happened already in these 136 pages. These books are absolutely amazing. Me and Crystal are also talking about doing a live show kind of review thing on these books. So, needs to get reading. And if you want to hear our thoughts on that, a video should be up soon. Ish. Depending on how long it takes us to read these. Exactly. Then I picked up When We Collided by Emery Lloyd. 
I've not heard too much about this other than it's going, it's doing the rounds on booktube. I know there's something with uh, tragedy and a family and people dealing with that. So I thought I'd pick it up. And also, the cover is so pretty. I mean, look at it. You can't tell me that, like, you know, if this is like, just sat there on the shelf, it would not draw your eye. Because we all know you'd be lying. <laughs> I also picked up Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard. Again, with the shiny throwing off the white balance, but it's another pretty book. Again, I don't know much about this book. I just saw it and I had to have it. As mostly happens when I go book shopping, whether it be virtual or physical. This book has also done the rounds on booktube and Katie from Katie Masters also told me that I have to read it, I have to read it, I have to read it, I have to read it now. So I picked up Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Yes, another shiny book, throwing up the white balance. Jeez, oh, why? I hate, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. It would be fine if it, I could take it off. Uh, just stickers that you can't remove vex me in such a way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Please, publishers, stop doing this. We don't like it. And then I got Night Owls by Jen Bennett. Again, I don't know much about it, but it was one of those that I saw and I had to pick up. <laughs> Again, with the, the sticker of doom. <sighs> the last book that I have to haul is The Lie Tree by Frances Harding. This book sounds so interesting. I had to pick it up. It sounds so interesting to me because the, um, the Lie Tree, it kind of feeds off of lies and secrets and bad things. And when the tree actually like bears fruit and ripens, these secrets and lies, are revealed. I don't know whether it's through eating the fruit or what, but it just sounds really interesting and I had to get it. <laughs> so that is all the books that I have bought and the two books that my mum bought me. Also Chris bought me two of the books too. But the rest I got myself. <laughs> I like getting books. I like when people buy me books. <sighs> Anyway, moving on. That's basically everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me if you've read any of these. Tell me your thoughts on them. You know, all that jazz. Or just, you know, pop down there and say hi. As always, the t-shirt I'm wearing today is this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. It's a wham! Shut up, dog. <clears throat> I'll wait. I think. Uh, yes. Whew. This is a. Uh, over at Dil. <laughs> over at Dil. Look at. Pins and needles, pins and needles, pins and needles. This is fire. My foot's going to sleep. Ow! I hit my elbow. Simone The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Fisheries? Oh, Benjamin. My foot. My foot. My foot. My foot. Also, pick. Blah, 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 blah.
I'm waiting for the kids to shut up that are what's about. <laughs>